Hello, and welcome back to Del May Cry. Last we left off, we, uh, completed mission 14, got on over here, hello boys. Just gonna take care of you real quick. Ow. You're quite the big one, ain't ya? You know, if you could not attack me. Ow. Had to readjust my controller mid-play. Had a, a wire in between some of my buttons. You know, not the most ideal. Start using this. Take you guys out more easily and more efficiently. Wait, aren't they all dead? Oh no, there's more. Shotgun to the face for you. I'ma just yoink your red orbs, don't mind me. You know, I don't even have to kill you from a correct. I could just, uh, come over here. Uh, where is it? Oh god, cameras, man. I really should swap over to free for this. There we go. There we go. Now we're laying on the damage. Ow. Just go to town on him. Blast you a little bit. Ow, I, I was busy shooting your teammate. Teammate, buddy, partner, you know. Whatever. Stop. Deliver a couple powerful blows to you. Ow. Shotgun to the face for all of you. You know, again, I don't even think this is necessary, but these guys give enough red orbs more than make up for it, and they can potentially draw green orbs. However, I do think uh, my time here is up. I'm gonna be leaving you. See ya. Oh god, that one moment when interact the same button as continue. Alright, we have a red path and a blue path. Uh, we're gonna just go down the blue path first. At least I believe we go through. Yep, let's use it. Quick, enter the room. <laughs> Grind it up a little bit, red orbs, don't need any more. Okay. Ah, oh, sweet. Luminite, a mysterious stone that shines in the dark and un- and no, I almost said unordinary, and the ordinary stone that exists in the other world has somehow over time gained different properties in the human world. Alright. Lovely, lovely. Now look at this. It's nice and bright in here. Ah, hey buddy. Oh, you're an electricity one, I believe, so, uh, let's just... Oh, I see you got teammates. Ah, oh, god. Thanks for the green orb. Now let's go on through here for another green orb. Red orbs, uh, I believe it's where is it? It's around here somewhere. There it is, hidden behind that barrel. That is the only blue orb fragment, and you know, item of note in here besides uh, the main item. Who would have thought there's a main item on the path that we were supposed to take? Oh, that sounds uh, lovely. Oh, now it now uh, I don't think it's so lovely. Luckily, ow, don't say please. Bonsai. There we go. 
get through this room. All right. Just activate this to get Devil Trigger back. Calm down. Bet you won't. You're too scared. You know, you, you can't just camp up there. Alright, well, whatever. I got my double chair at max. Oh my god! Just wait for these spike walls. It's so much easier to jump when you can. Ah, camera. Ah, camera. Hey, could you come out of the walls instead of camping inside them? I'll just take these. Thanks for lances that are very conveniently placed in an area we need. I want your red orbs. Alright, I'm gonna just activate Devil Trigger now. So that way when I could get out of this camera abomination room. I know there's spikes here. <laughs> just wait. Go through. Oh wait, go back for uh, more Devil Trigger. Ah. This is lovely. Just activate Delcher, regenerate a little bit of life, you know, then I'll get a uh, full replenish. Just gonna let this regenerate as much as it can. Might as well, you know. Dante just chilling there, posing. Alright, now let's get Delcher back. And then we'll be on our way. Now, uh, normally, for this mission, you only have to take one path. Oh god. Ooh. You only have to take one path, the blue or red path. I find the blue path is... Well, actually, I say... I was gonna say I find it easier, but they're both not really different. Oh god. Like, there's no real difference to uh, use an either or. Okay, can you get off of me, bud? It's just mainly preference. You know, pick your favorite color. Besides that... You do get an extra little bonus reward for going, uh, both routes. Hey, guys. It's now nighttime here. I'm gonna quickly... Just don't mind me. I, I need to remember the right way to go, though. That's the only problem. Ah, oh, oh, wrong buttons all around. Maps. Okay. Whoa, what room was it? It was, uh trying to remember. What was it, that room? It might be this room. Excuse me, coming through. Is this where we got off free? It's been so long. Yes, this this is the room where we got off free. Come on up here. I believe it's supposed to be it now when we come back here. Again, it has been a while since I've went for a 100% playthrough in Double May Cry, so, you know, please excuse my, uh, misremembrance. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, So, man, these laughs are very creepy. Well, you know, nothing to be too scared of. Here we go. Come over here, then whack this. Now we just gotta do platforming again. Oh boy. But this is actually a very worth it item compared to a Devil Star or, you know, uh, Holy War. I mean, Holy War is very helpful. And I mean, Devil Star can't have its uses, but this is an untouchable, which, you know, immortality is pretty great. You can only get it once it turns nighttime, so keep that in mind. Alright, now that's um, out of there, let's head back in to the red path. Might as well kill these guys for uh, some easy money. Void the scythe. Thanks for the red orbs. Now we go down the red path.
All right. And down the red path we go. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, there's this guy. Hey, buddy. Uh, take shotgun to the face. I think that was everything. Well, I mean, I say that's everything. Uh, we still got threats over here. Just, uh, blast them. You stay down. Ow. You think I'd learn by now? A bit of waste for a combo, I guess. Alright, and uh, just like the last path, ah, uh, camera. We got a breakable wall right here. Green orb and everything. But uh, this time on this side, it is a yellow orb that we get. You know, destroy all this expensive stuff. You know, it's not like Dante cares. Get some red orbs from him. Alright. Now let's go on in and get our special reward. Now we just kind of wait. Okay. All right. Next thing enabled. In here, we I believe this is another Devil Trigger refill room. Yeah. So uh, we'll use that if we need to. Alright, come in here. Jump across. Jump across. And don't actually grab that, I believe. Oh well, first, uh... Deal with these guys. Give me my red orbs. Thank you. Alright, now, I believe it's, uh, it's here somewhere, I'm a, you have to jump under this pedestal, there we go, I saw it activate. One of the really weird blue orbs, gonna be honest, it's not all that obvious of where you're supposed to go or how you're supposed to get, you're just supposed to jump under until you get it. Another full blue orb completed. Life increased, always nice. Jump up, jump up. Hop on over, hop on over. Alright, and now we get, I believe, our final weapon, Nightmare Beta. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? We already killed all the enemies down here. So, uh, yeah, Nightmare Beta is a, uh... It's a weird gun. It's kind of one of my favorites. It's just a simple laser gun. Fires. I said fires. Uh, it fires a reflective. A reflective? A bullet that reflects. A laser that reflects. There you go. can think of the proper term. Now, uh, with Nightmare on hand, I mean, one, we can show it off. As you can tell, it's, you know, it's alright. Oh, I just fly out missed right there. Uh, it's good when you have multiple enemies because, again, the laser bounces around. It can take care of threats all around you. Uh, you know what, we're gonna come down here. Uh, let's see, extra... I can't afford the purple orb. Do I get the blue orb? Nah. I think I'm gonna hold off on my money. I would like Inferno, but Inferno is just so expensive, but it's so good. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, 
It also uh, builds combos from Greg, which is surprising because the only other guns to do that in this game are the handguns and I think grenade gun. The shotgun though, not so much. Alright, now before we go there, there is a... I honestly have never done it in this order, I just know that this particular secret mission is easier with Nightmare be uh, Beta. Let's just uh, keep dealing with you guys. Thought you would have died, there we go. Alright, now let's head on over to the secret mission. Again, I am not 100% sure if we could even do the secret mission, I'm pretty sure we can. If not, uh, well then, uh, we'll cut back here, if we can't do it. If not, then, you know, you get to listen to me talk a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, that was a lot of life gone from multiple enemies hitting me at the same time. There we go, I was gonna fight them until they dropped a green orb because that would have been a little catastrophic. Now we're back here. Avoid these guys. Oh god. I thought I'm stuck on one. Keep on running for your life, Dante. They're after you. Alright. And now we're back over here by the cursed waterfall. Hop on here, go down. Now uh, let's see if I didn't make a fool of myself. That one skull emblem I mentioned before? Yep, here we go. This is the secret mission, Treasure of the Reaper, defeat all the enemies. It's a, uh... It's... It's a mission, you know? One of my least favorite secret missions, just because if you don't get Nightmare Beta, it is a bit of a nightmare. Please stop. There we go. Darn it, I didn't kill him in time. Main goal here is just to kite them around here. Okay, one down. I forget how many are in this room. I think it's three, which is unfortunate. Just die already! Thank you. No, I was literally coming over to grab the greed orbs. Ah, god. Just come on back over here. I'm gonna try and get them all on screen and then double holy water. It's what I originally was gonna do, but I was like, hey, I'll show off how good Nightmare Beta can be. But that's a big mistake. Get over here, all of you. Alright, there's two. You know what? I think I'll uh, just do you two. Because one's easier to handle. Oh my god, one of you, of course, was in an attack state, so it didn't matter. Ow. 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 Okay. This time. You know, I think I'm gonna swap over to, uh, shotgun just for a bit, because there's only one of you here, 
at the moment. A lot of noises going on at the same time. Focusing very hard, because, uh... There we go. Please tell me, yes, it's red. Meaning, it's doing its desperation attacks. Desperation attack, for those who don't know, is, uh... A term used for when an enemy usually does a final killing move. As they're dying. Oh god, that used up more resources than I would have liked, but... Then again, that is one of the secret missions I find a little bit harder, just because of the bad camera angles, cramped space, all that. But, uh, we did also get something from it, which is, uh, give me that, uh, purple... I guess we don't need a pur purple orb, then. It's alright, you know, don't want it. It's cool. I was, I'm fine without it. Game, uh, your camera angles sometimes. Alright. Let's run on back. Thank goodness this part is just gonna be one part because it's already very long, but you know, that's just how Devil May Cry is. Some missions are super quick, so I get to pair them up with two missions at a time. Some missions take quite a bit. Especially if you're going 100%. I mean, if you were just rushing through Devil May Cry, don't care about a single upgrade, this game you can beat very quickly. If you're good at it, I might add, uh, because if you're not going for all upgrades, you're giving yourself a handicap by, you know, less health. And less devil trigger and just less everything. Ah, oh, god, I couldn't help myself but grind on these enemies because they're just so easy to kill and they give so much, it's so worth it. Alright, into the Coliseum, finally. Yep, let's use it. Alright, so we're at this Coliseum. Uh, we're gonna just come on the, all the way over here. Just ignore all that for now. <laughs> there we go. Got a yellow orb, and there's one more thing for us. Okay, whoops, did not mean to fall down. There is a green orb here, but we're gonna just try and avoid that for now. There we go. Again, really, really weird blue orb places. Uh, now, I just gotta remember the area you actually- there we go. And guess who it is? Griffin. Yet again. They really like this guy. I mean, almost as much as they like Phantom. Alright, swap over, uh, get our handguns ready, you know, ebony and ivory. Start blasting into Griffin. I was gonna say let a meteor or two rip, but uh, you know, we saw how successful that was. Now while I charge up the Ultra again, I'm gonna be sticking with Alistair. Alright, uh, so that way we skip the actual in-game animation, that's why it's worth it to equip certain weapons in menu, and then certain weapons non-menu. Swap back over to Alistair.
here we go. Next phase. Ah, Griffin, why? Ah, oh, the bridge. Did it deserve it? Hey, buddy, you okay? You don't seem to be doing so well. I miss the days when you talk to me, Griffin. Let's just, uh, get a couple hits in. Back up when he starts charging like that. Ow. I really should be focusing a bit more on defense than DPS, but you know, that's just uh, the Spartan metho methodology. Sometimes DPS is a little bit better. If you kill something faster than it kills you, that's all that matters. I think my Mega Man X playstyle is showing to where I'm super aggressive in Mega Man X. Yes, use that attack again, it's the easiest to dodge Fears Griffin. Going up. Ow. Let's keep dodging this. Well, yeah, and one of the easiest attacks of Griffin is to dodge, especially because it, I say that as I get hit, uh, especially because it lets you get some free shots in. Ah, uh, man, great transition from Game Blade cutscene. Got all of these old games. Oh, and hey, a perfect sacrifice! Whoa, who would have thought? It's as if Griffin convenient- oh god, ah, uh, no, ah, uh, ah, uh, why'd they have to do it to you like this, buddy? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry for the predicament you're in. Sorry, Griffin. Don't they just chill in there, you know, watching this all happen? Yeah, you know, it's cool. Jeez, controller, calm down. You're rumbling like crazy. Ah, Mundus doesn't seem like a bad guy. He killed a bad guy. Therefore, he's clearly good. Oh, hey, Trish. You always come in like that? Ah, cool. Thanks, computer. Interrupting my recording. I will update you later. God, God, I love that. Ugh, oh, Trish, don't look at me like that. Oh yeah, honorable cause, don't they? You know? Alright, we got our red orbs. Let's go, you know, grab them. Oh my god, it wouldn't be the end of part if I'm not, uh, air up to some fight something. Oh god, quick, Dante, 
No, wait, this isn't where we go to end the part. Uh, run, Dante, run! You mad man! Door! Door, save me! Wrong door! Ah, oh, God. Now my mind's all out fray and frazzled and all that. Dante, get on the pillar. I, I believe it's the pillar I have to get on. Or not. You know what? We're gonna just uh, continue over here. Where is it? Oh my God, I am losing my mind. Hold on, I will be back to go take care of that thing. All right, I'm back, and yeah, I was supposed to hop up here. I don't know what I was doing back then a couple minutes ago. It was, it was that simple, really. I also love it how I get back. I jump up there first try. All right, well, give me, give me, give me the Wheel of Destiny, the thing we've been working for this entire freaking time. God, that took way too long. This is, an, this is either going to be a very long part or a two parts. Ah, oh, d rank. I mean, at least I have all the red orbs in the world. So, uh, yeah, you know, if this is a two-parter, you'll, you'll know why. For now, see you guys, uh, later.